This what was your favorite moment during Gamergate? This is a good question. The end. <laughs> the end. Really? Because, really. When I when I left Gamergate, I was happy because it was like I like at first I was like, oh, this is hope. And then it just got shittier and shittier. And then I was like, I need to move on. I spend too much time on this. And then I left. I felt that was that was my freeing moment. I was just like, ah, I have put the burden down. <laughs> I feel it no more. And then I just moved on with my life. And just was like, yeah, Gamergate was a thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, that's a that's a fair answer, man. Honestly, for me, the, the the ending of Gamergate, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but uh, the ending of Gamergate for me, like, when I got, it wasn't like a, um, like a single moment where it's like, okay, I think Gamergate's over. It was like, all right, I'm one of only a handful of people still talking about this, and all the people who are still talking about this are members of my community on YouTube. <laughs> so, uh let's uh so like i'm talking about pol so i started like transitioning to her to politics role and making like anti-alt-right content and then i kind of i did that for a while and then i just kind of eventually stopped talking about gamergate altogether there was like no single moment for me where it's like oh this is this is the end it just stopped coming up there stopped being things to talk about to me I'm not surprised. I am. I am not. I am not surprised. It just kind of petered out. That's kind of what it all happened. That's how it happened for everyone. I think <laughs> it just. It didn't end with a bang. It ended with a silent little whimper. If you could have changed one thing about Gamergate, what would it be? Um. I, I, uh, better organization, better uh, something is something that would have turned, made it turn out better. Cause I mean, it, it's, it's just ridiculous that we, that all that time and effort went for absolutely nothing, you know? Oh, well, we got some, some ethical reforms and, Maybe torrential downpour was a success, and it brought the community together, and it was a successful pushback against censorship to some degree. And like, I don't think it was like the worst thing in the world. In fact, actually, maybe you could argue like there was going to be a pushback against this, you know, social justice ideology, whatever you want to call it, no matter what, right? It was going to happen, and yeah. maybe it's better that we're the ones who did it at first insofar as we were involved with that sort of thing because i feel like we were pretty moderate and reasonable people like we weren't like crazy like most of us weren't crazy unhinged like psychos um like we actually had like reasonable critiques of the of the way that parts of the left were going i think that if it were if it, it was it's probably good that it was us because we really did have like good faith arguments, I think. Whereas, like, I don't know if like it would have been if it was just like I don't know, like any other community. I'm not sure that they would have been as careful as we were to make sure that we were principled. Yeah. Though some people also were like not principled. But I think those of us who cared about creative freedom, which I know you didn't really. But like those of us who did, I feel like we did apply that standard on both sides, and we're like, no, we don't. So we support creative freedom for everybody, and uh, against all censors. I feel like a lot of us on the creative freedom side were very principled. Like I remember yeah. my big, most popular videos were calling out right wing social justice warriors, um, like uh, Mass Effect Andromeda and the hashtag Dump Star Wars when some right wing grifter guy tried to. Um, tried to organize a campaign to stop people from seeing Rogue One because he made up lies about the film. He claimed that there was a a uh, anti-Trump scene in the movie. It was a complete mm. hoax that he made up. And he got a whole hashtag going for it from the right wing. 
uh, that was a video I, I made the critique and, you know, that was, I was extremely principled on this and it's something I really believed in and still do. And see all that, all those lovely words. And I'm about to undercut it with a stupid joke here. Um, I hope you're sitting down. Uh, the sea lion is only a symbolic adoption. It wasn't for an actual sea lion. Oh no. What has so, he done? Are you serious? So there was never an actual, there was a stuffed sea lion that comes in the adoption kit. So I guess there is technically a sea lion named ethics, but it's a stuffed animal. If it exists, if they donated the hundred bucks, uh, it was 5,000. So I'm assuming they probably got the stuffed animal. So someone out there has ethics, the stuffed animal sea lion, but there isn't an actual living, breathing sea lion that, um, was adopted by Gamergate. I know I, I didn't mean to break your heart, but or after that touching speech about how about your beliefs and faith, but um, yeah, I, I felt the need to just you know crush your hopes and dreams for a moment there. You know what? But we still donated money to that charity and five thousand dollars. Yeah. So there's that. I say we like I chipped in. I did not. I did not either. <laughs> I, I didn't even fucking know this happened. I'm like, wow, we had a sea lion. Like, I get the joke. It's a funny joke, but, but <laughs> I really liked Rogue One as a film too. People in chat are saying that they like Rogue One. Uh, no comment. You don't like Rogue One, no dude? Comment. That's a whole separate debate, dude. We got to debate this a whole separate. No time. comment. No comment. I'm not commenting. All right. What would you have personally done differently during Gamergate? Um, spent less time in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Me too, bro. Me too. Like, there were some specific mistakes I would not have made, but like, spend less time on it would probably have been like the 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 big one. Yeah, because just like. I spent so much. I wasted so many hours on Twitter arguing with people for no good reason. I made videos that are, I, I guess, decent. Um, but man, like, why did I do any of that? I just, like, I should have known. You know, I guess I, I guess that was, I was still had, I guess I still had some degree of ideals and hopes and dreams at that point in time. You know, I had some kind of concept that maybe, just maybe, my my small words and, and simple phrases could somehow make the world better. And then I fucking realized that shit's the shit's never gonna fucking change. Like, okay, this this is tell. Let me tell you just how fucked we are. Okay. Oh, it's my child's birthday today. Oh, shit! I didn't know that. Well, there's two minutes left in the day, so. No, it. Um, well, my it's time's already, up. It's, it's it's already passing the new ah. the new day for me, so it's my channel's birthday today. I did not fucking Dude, know that. Dude, we gotta wrap this bad boy up. Uh. Anyways, um, just 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 briefly to show you how fucked we are. Um, the reason I was looking at my channel, I was looking for I was looking for a, a clip I did of um this newspaper that Dank Pods had on his had on his show had his YouTube channel that shows a comic from the time of the moon landing mocking anti-vaxxers. Fucking time is a loop, dude. Fucking time is a loop and we never fucking escape it. They're fucking mocking. Like they had anti-vaxxer comics back in the fucking goddamn time of the moon, like 1969. We, we, it's never fucking ending. We're in a few more years. They'd be Gamergate 3.0 or 2.0 or the, the, the sequel, and the whole fucking thing will happen all over again, and nothing will fucking change in this fucking planet unless AI takes us all over and just ends us all. But also, let's talk about how AI can be good. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> it's like going down this rabbit hole again. <laughs> All right, dude. Um, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. It's it's one it's one in the morning for me, man. It's already too late for me, man. What do you think of this interview project? Um, well, I mean, I wouldn't participate in it if I didn't see some merit to it. You know, I I think it's I think it's a good send off 
to it if it if it ever gets a send off if the corpse is ever left in the ground long enough to, for it to go completely cold and not dug enough <laughs> every time a fucking thing happens that the leftists want to say oh bobby gamergate did it gamergate did it again they came back and they, they they stole my car that's what they done did this time but yeah i i i think it's just like it's it, it's good for the history of things to try and have someone on our side at least put something else out there that doesn't suck <laughs> So make sure your book doesn't fucking suck. Otherwise, I'm going to shit on it on Amazon. Did you not read my first one? <clears throat> um. Oh, wow. It's getting late, man. It's, <laughs> it's getting fucking late. Whoa. What's... Uh, okay. All right. So, hang on. We got two questions left. We got two questions left. We can do it. Some people reading this. Dude, I fucking lived it. I didn't buy it because I fucking lived it, okay? I was fucking there. I was fucking there. So oh, we'll buy <laughs> By the way, everybody, go read, go buy uh, Gamergate First Battle of the Culture War by Kevin McDonald on Amazon. It's on Kindle and it's on paperback you can get. Anyway. I can't, I, I can't, I can't do it on Kindle because the only Kindle I have is for, one for my wife. And I don't want to read the book she reads. You don't even want to fucking know the, the horrors I've seen. Oh, I know. The I, horrors I, I've I seen. I would not be surprised. Anyway, go ahead. Some people reading this might hold a negative view of Gamergate. Do you have anything you want to say to them? Hi, my name is Pogship and I'm an alcoholic. No, wait, wait, wrong meeting. <laughs> I was going to start the whole fucking call that way, too. Um, no, I'd be like... I would just ask them the same question I'd ask you. It's like, why, why would you not want to... Why, why can't you put yourself on the other side of this and think... Think of something that you love and being told don't love that thing anymore give it up you're you're a horrible person for loving it in the first place you know like just think about that how would you feel and what would you do to change people's minds on that and that's you you think of it that way you'll probably be on our side too all right is there anything else about gamergate you want to talk about it's fucking dead it's fucking dead it's fucking dead. It's fucking dead. Let it die. Let it fucking die. It left people who are seeing this. It is fucking dead. It has been fucking dead for years. Please let the corpse rot and, va and fade away from memory. Please, dear God, do that. We did not do Trump or anything else that you want to accuse us of. All we wanted was Essex and game journalism, and you fucks wouldn't let that happen. So... Let's just move the fuck on. Continue your little leftist shit until you run all the companies that you work with into the ground and leave us to play our games in peace. Thank you. Oh, hey. <laughs> Puck. Thanks for Make coming sure that's on, all man. in cap. Make sure that's all in caps in the book. Like, just have escalating in, like, font size in caps. <laughs> <laughs> Game Grade is dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's fucking dead. It's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> but have you considered what if it weren't dead? No. Fuck you. Just <laughs> fuck. Fuck you. Fuck your mother. We gotta bring it back, guys. We gotta do a revival. <sighs> uh, oh, dude, what's well, over, man? It's it's over. It's never it's been Jover. more. It's, it's it is Jover. It is indeed it's Jover. Jover. It's oh. Jover. Paulo, I, he's in the chat. Dude, tomorrow. Everyone tune in tomorrow. 7 o'clock Central. We are doing it. You're next, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Try and, t try and top taping him online this long. And hey, if you <clears throat> if you guys want to watch my political commentary, which I don't know how you guys feel about that, but uh, I am doing a panel at 1030. Well, 30 minutes after the Republican debate, I am hosting a panel. So far, I've gotten food shops on board, who, by the way, I think is wrong about Gamergate. One of the things I want to do with this project, actually, half-jokingly, is convince her. Because I think she's a pretty reasonable person, and I think if I could convince her that she's <laughs> wrong about Gamergate, then I'll, I'll, I'll be like, you know what? I'm happy. 
I've, <laughs> I've, 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 hey, it might be the first time in my life that I knowingly convinced somebody that they were wrong on this. It's like, not going to happen. Moved people. It's not going to happen. I've moved people, it's... like uh, you know, to more moderate positions on this before. But this might be the first time I've actually like fully convinced somebody. You know what? You were completely right about Gabriel. Right? Or actually, no, I don't even care about that. I'll, all I want to do is move her to a position where she's like, you know what? Maybe you guys weren't moral monsters after all. I feel like that'd be cool. Um, and then her and Inter- counterpoint. <laughs> Introduce her to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, she's. That- uh, she's, like, conv- she's live right now. Go talk to her. She, that, will, talk that, to will, that will conv- that will convince <laughs> her to never listen to your ass ever again. You're like that. That's what you had in the. You're fucking. You 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 are a fuck. You're a fucking fuck. That's what you are. You yeah. bastard. I, I want to convince her that we're that we weren't a harassment campaign because that's what she thinks. She thinks that there were some good people involved, but that we were a harassment campaign. I believe. Yeah, I don't well, know her exact thoughts, but she doesn't care about this topic very much. So, yeah, I t- holy cow, dude, t- kick's blowing up, dude. Holy cow, I got a ton of viewers on kick. Um, of course, you you have the magic words in your in your in your title, Gamergate. It's Gamergate. They're talking about Gamergate. Quick, someone get Ralph over here. Oh God, no, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, by the way, game dev- you know what? I'll talk to you off air. All right. Actually, I'm not doing this. I'm going to bed. Have a good night, everybody. Um, on kick, I will raid. Be my first kick raid ever because I don't usually have enough people to do it. I'm going to raid food chefs on kick. And on Twitch, I'm going to raid. The only person I know is Jay Chisel, who's online. So, Jay Chisel on YouTube. Uh, I don't even know who's alive on YouTube right now. So, hey, what did you think of this interview? Was it fun? It was terrible in such small portions. Oh, really? <laughs> no, it was. I had, I had fun. Tom I, I was Fuller like, is it's, it's accurate. That just apt and apt place to raid after this Tom Fullery. after this shit <laughs> show. <laughs> yes. Q Q Q Q Q. All right, all yeah, right. I, I, I miss doing podcasts and live content. And see, I, I only gave it up because I'm shit at editing. Like I, I, I well, I mean, I, I, I don't do too bad sometimes in editing, but like streaming, there's no point unless there's people in the chat. And I just kind of give content creation all together. Oh, by the way, I need to close the stream down. So have a good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Go away. No, go away. Go with go with the raid. Go 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 to hosting. food shops. Go to Jay Chisel. Go to Tom Foolery, depending on which platform you're on.